Well, hello everybody, this is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about the No Prep King Season 5 Final Revision of the Weight Rules. Now, photo going to go directly to their photo owners. Please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. I'm announcing that I will be at the NPK Season Opener Race at Palm Beach. I travel to Miami this week. I'm in Miami right now. And I will be attending that race Friday and Saturday if everything goes good. So, let's see what happens. Now, back to the topic. These are the final weights for NPK Season 5. Let's address the main combos that people run. The Big Block Nitrous, 5-inch board space or greater, like Kai Kelly, Lissy, Bird Boys, etc. Got a 50-pound weight break in comparison to last season. They can weigh 2,500 pounds as a base weight. Small block twin turbo with 88s, 2,500. Small block twin turbo larger than 88, like Murder Nova runs. 2,600 pounds as a base weight. That is 100 pounds off, which in my opinion, it's retarded. Because that combo was extremely fast last season. The big block centrifugal, which is the main topic right now. The most common combination up to 136 millimeter, 2750. They, have, they had 50 pounds added. And the 137 to 145, which is the Pro Charger 140, they had 50 pounds to it as well. So the base weight is now 2850. The Big Block Twin Turbo up to 88 millimeter turbos is 2850. They dropped 100 pounds on that combo. Same goes to the larger than 88 millimeter turbo setup. They went from 3050 to 2950. The Big Block Single Turbo got, I believe, 100 pounds off. To 2650. That's the base weight. I believe they were at 2750 last season. Small block roots blower. I don't think nobody runs that big block roots blower. Got 100 pounds off, which is what Cody Baker runs, Adam Jennings, etc. Small block screw. Nobody really runs that. And big block screw. They still have the overdrive limit at 98%, but that combo got 100 pounds off. But maintaining the same overdrive now the weight deductions they're very similar to last year's weight deductions but vehicles running a taller than 34 and a half inch sidewall tire must add 50 pounds i think that is a very good rule because a lot of people are running 36 inch tall tires and a lot of the cars can't fit a 36 inch tall tire so if you run a 34 or 5 you get a weight deduction that i think is very very important now, Ryan and Justin and all those Pro Charger cars that already are putting weight, if they run the 36-inch tall tire, they got to add 50 pounds. Now, the um, big block entries, stock bore space, and cast block, cast head deal, same as last year. They get to deduct 200 pounds from the base weight if they're 585 cubic inches or less. That involves Reaper which runs a big block Chevy, Mike Merlo that runs a big block Ford, and Jeff Lutz that run uh, that runs a big block Chevy as well. They, they get to deduct 200 pounds off the base weight. Now, honestly, guys, I think they drop too much the weight out of some combinations and penalize the Pro Charger too much. The screw-blown cars, if they can get down to that weight, which I know for a fact Stinky Pinky can't, Tony McKinney can't, even though he did redid the car, so maybe he can. Doc, with his new car, can't get down that light. If there is a screw blower car that can get to the minimum weight, they're going to mop the floor with every single other combination. That's just the bottom line. Now they're too light, but I don't think they can get down to that weight. Now, I still believe the Pro Charger cars are going to run really, really fast. Now, that 36-inch tall tire, 50-pound weight penalty is interesting because most of these guys, and not only the Pro Charger cars, but the, the twin turbos, the screw blower cars, etc., they are running the 36-inch tall tires. So, they're going to have to weigh a lot more. I believe they're trying to slow the fuel down, but they took a lot of weight out of the other combos. So... It's going to be tough. It's going to be a very interesting year. I still think the Pro Charger cars are going to do really good. They're still going to be very, very fast. But hey, let's see what happens. It's definitely going to be an interesting year. I can't wait to go to the first race at Palm Beach next week. So hey, let's see what happens.